Hello everyone and welcome to another Unreal Tournament 2003 VTM. This time around we're going to be focusing on how to use the new terrain feature that comes with UT2K3. My name is Jason Busby, also known as Buzz from 3dbuzz.com and MasteringUnreal.com. And I am being joined this morning by Mr. Logan Frank, also known as Jayhawk, also from 3dbuzz.com and MasteringUnreal.com. How's it going today, Logan? Going good. All right, so we're going to get the opportunity of showing them how to use terrain, how to go in there and actually create their own terrain. Now, a lot of people may be wondering, what is terrain? Just generally, what is it, Logan? Well, terrain is a uh, its a very detailed plane that is based off of a height map. Okay, cool. So it's its like outside, right? Right. Well, that's, that's its general use. I mean, you can use it for anything where you want a smooth uh, smooth surface type. But, yes, it's generally used for out, outdoors, hills, sand dunes, and stuff like that. So right now you're just in a level where we're looking around and we see some hills slash mini mountains almost. Right, basically a nice wide open outdoor level where you have hills and valleys that are based on terrain, me meaning basically we have the terrain as the as the floor of the level and stuff is built on top of that. Now this terrain actually exists in like a giant room, right? Well, yeah, terrain is generally very large because, I mean, outdoors is quite large. Right. And in order for terrain or anything else to exist, we need to have space carved out into an unreal world. So that's generally a very large subtraction brush. Very cool. So in this VTM, well, actually, the first thing we can do, outside of just terrain, one of the neat things we'll be looking at is also how to take and cut entranceways into terrain, if you will. Actually, it's just kind of flagging things as invisible. And then making it so that you can actually go into a base. And Logan, if you want to just jump down and show them what we're talking about there. So here you can see we can actually go into a base that basically drops down from the terrain. Right. It's basically the uh, the operation of cutting into terrain is very simple. And after that, it's simply building your geometry and static meshes to fit where you cut into the terrain. Very cool. Well, go ahead and exit out of this, and let's bring Unreal Ed back up for just a second. Now, this is just the introduction, and from here we'll start getting into everything. But right now, you're just looking at an example of a completed level that makes really good use of terrain, right, Logan? Right. As I said before, it's it's the base of the level in this case. If I switch over to wireframe, you can see all the uh, the white wireframe. If I was to hide uh, static meshes here. And there we have the uh, the wire or the uh, the train that makes up the base of this level. Look like at that! Such. Very cool. Okay, so with that, we will go ahead and get started. Well, actually, before we get started, let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. What are going to be some of the things we are going to cover throughout this VTM? Well, first, just how, simply how you go about adding train to your level. Uh, what do you need to do to set the zone up, and what do you need to do to actually get the train info to show up in the level. Very cool. Then after that? Well, then we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, the tools for editing terrain, how you can go about painting on it, selecting the different vertices, uh, even going into where you can hide out different parts of the terrain so you could cut into a hill. And awesome. uh, after that, we'll look at layers, how we can layer textures together so you can have more of a rock-type look, fading into a different uh, texture, and how to blend these all together. Very cool. And finally, we, we'll be looking at how you take static meshes and set them up as de uh, decorations, which are applied to the terrain. Very cool. Okay, so with that, let's go ahead and get started and show them how they can do this on their own. Thanks, guys. <laughs> 